is only one. Dan Hurley off that national championship last year has his team at 12 and 2. Back to back wins after the loss. It's going to sound and feel like an earthquake at Hinkle Fieldhouse. <laughs> it's sounding and feeling like that already. Off we go. Butler in number four, UConn. To get to the basket. And Stephon Castle, the projected lottery pick, has 23 scouts in the NBA here to see him tonight. And there's Spencer inside the arc with the first bucket. I thought he should have shot it on the catch, but good tap. Really nice pass by DJ Davis. Doing a lot of things well on offense right now. DJ Davis and Spencer can do that from pretty much any spot on the floor. Yeah, a little screen on the weak side and decide to kick out the slow rotation from UConn created that wide open look for DJ Davis. Caravan answers back. Alex Caravan three. Single side pick and pop. It's more checking him here. Spencer off the ball screen. Lobs it up and the slam for Samson Johnson. They froze the help defender. There for the board. Solo ball through the back door for Spencer. Give up Johnson for two more. That's so good. Cam Spencer driving to his left hand. Brought Andre Screen 23 and white to the basketball. Brooks and the Bulldogs out of the timeout. Newton, did settle. Johnson with the pack. Tristan Newton, he, that kid has eyes out the back of his head. He sees so much, and he was able to hold, finally return, but the rotation was set. So it's nice for him to get this opportunity here because he's a fantastic player. It's going to be a really key player for UConn re to repeat. Stewart bags a three. Jalen Stewart, three. Dribble penetration, you don't help off the weak side. A poke out for one of the best in the Big East at doing that, but UConn gets it right back. After Alexander had hands on. Newton short follow. Goes down for Caravan. Yeah, ball a little slow to get Fun. The switches have taken UConn out of their offensive rhythm. Spencer off on the three. And saved by Davis, but into the hands of UConn, and that ends the run with Castle. Mm -hmm. Heads up play by Castle, could reap the flight of the ball, putting himself on the offensive end for UConn. One for five from three. Mm -hmm. Castle mid-range. Look at Castle. We said it earlier. Castle's got full Castle. Stefan Castle, number five in blue, has Telford Gardner. They can go back to it if they want. And Newton takes the contact. Yeah. That counts in the foul. Yeah. Coming off that ball screen, DJ Davis never got him squared up, which allowed Newton to be able to attack to his left. And another big guard at 6'5 who can take the contact and fit. Spencer fell down. Newton says, I got this, and tags in a three. How clutch is he? We've seen him time and time again knock down big shots, and we saw it in the championship game, ladder to be able to pass. What a beautiful pass in front of the run by Cap for Kapke. Castle mid-range. That was a settle. He's got to drive in. Second chance at it, though, and Stewart puts it back. Jalen Stewart. Stewart's given them a really nice lift in terms of his energy off the bench. A surprising one. Kapke hadn't played the first 17 minutes. Finished the half strong. Butler leads the number four team of the country. Back to Mike Hill and Casey Jacobs into the studio for the halftime report after this. Underneath it. They're going to easily steal that one. Got a, miss, got a mismatch inside. Spencer off the pivot, and it drops down. It's pretty. So many of the guards can make that shot these days. A hard little dribble to the official. And Spencer with the takeaway. All the long, coasting in for two. He saw that coming all the way and just shot the gap on that one. Really good read defensively. For heat on that sideline right now. I can feel it all the way across the court on my side. Two straight turnovers here for Butler. This one for Castle. One on one with Alexander. Got the balance and the poise from the freshman. Down to Johnson. Wild shots are like turnovers. And here comes Castle. Three in a row for UConn yep. in the open court. When 
you're playing against UConn, a bad shot is like a turnover because they turn their guards over and they get out and transition. Castle with a strong finish into the line. Physical defense from Davis. Skip. Caribbean three. You have to be careful to not over help. Johnson stays. Caravan sits with three fouls. Belfort deep in the stance on Castle. Splits two. Spencer juggle. And now the night where he's hit at a high rate, but Castle fighting to get that offensive rebound. Newton triple. Spencer another loose ball. Hands off for Newton in the screen. Johnson finishes. UConn has brought the fight here in the second half. Been able to come up with steals off their defense, able to get out in transition, get on the offensive glass. Caravan back on the floor, had the rebound. In there to shoot, and drill it. You cannot lose track of where he is on the floor, especially as a... After a 15-4 UConn run. Trying to start another. That's so good. They went to set a little wide pin, and he slipped it. And when he slipped it, the extra defender had to give a three coming off dribble penetration and a kick. Diara with the slice. And notice who he had guarding him. Caravan getting late. Castle, four on the clock. And drills it. That's a... Big shot by Steph Castle, who coming into this game was only one of nine from the three-point line. How about the to 23 NBA scouts here tonight? A lot of them to see him. Telfort, pass deflected. That's a good call. Offense. Fake was on an island with a big, came down to give a little help. Got a little hand on that pass. And then Telfort, watch this. Got a hand on that. Telford pushed Castle off with his left arm. That's a really good call by the official. Newton going to work late in the shot clock. UConn should post Castle. Caravan on that. Or just tell Alex Caravan to take a little sidestep. <laughs> a little dribble to his left and not. A big feeling shifter on that shot. UConn have taken their biggest lead of the half. And then Newton with one right back from two. I thought Telford should have gone up and through his chest. Maybe the way was right there. Diara gets to the rim. Brooks just hit the three. So out of the timeout, and that'll count. Telford hit it on the way down with Caravan into the rim. That's so good. Danny Hurley ran an action to create a mismatch because of the way Butler switches to create a mismatch inside with Caravan with DJ Davis. Ball goes over the top. A really nice pass. Caravan skates in. Five seconds. Five on the clock. Spencer can't shake more. Spencer. We watched him hit four of those same. He was struggling on his shot early in practice today, really down on himself, and he practiced that shot time after time after time today. And when UConn needed a big shot down the stretch, it's Cam Spencer knocks down a huge. On Fox, 3-0 start for the Wildcats. Yes. Number four, UConn, overcomes a seven-point hole at halftime and beats Butler, turning it around, beating him by seven. And they get to three and one in the Big East. Fun Friday night of basketball. More to yes. come. Number nine, Illinois. Number one, Purdue is coming up. First back to the studio with Mike Hill. LaFontoelis, Connor Onion, saying goodnight from Hinkle Fieldhouse.